Hello everyone, it's me, Omnom, Omnom Nom, or Nom Nom, Andrew, whatever you want to call it, don't matter to me. This is my part two of my Let's Play of the Oregon Trail Director's Cut. I'm starting off right where I left off, and I think I might go scavenge. You know me, I'm a scavenging fool. In the last episode, I was the Dodge Pro. The Dodge Pro. I'm gonna have to get some ammo because I'm using so much of it in this run. Or this playthrough. It's okay. I need to survive. I don't want to get hit. Last time I barely made it to the same fucking thing. Died though, which is actually pretty good. It's not good when your teammates are dying left and right. I remember one playthrough, my friend Alan got stolen by a bandit, and I had to make the choice and kill him. Well, I tried to save him, but I accidentally shot him in the face. You know how it goes. Heavy fog rolls in. You are forced to drive more slowly. No big problem. You spend some time cleaning guts off the car. Out of the car. There's guts inside my car. The tomb's often didn't to look at it. You know what? In this playthrough, I am going to stop whenever I can at these tombstones and try it out to make the gameplay a lot more interesting. And you don't have to do anything. Old Mr. Cream Puff. In the face. Get drop Zambi. This guy clears up. Something catches your eye off the road. Would you like to get out and investigate? Yes, I would. You hear you hear the all too familiar cries of which accompany a zombie attack, but this one sounds more intense than others you have experienced. Suddenly, a door in a nearby SUV springs open and a man jumps out with a wild and panicked expression. He approaches you and begs you, My wife and children are into school, please help us! Before you have the chance, he is off and running towards the school. Drake, let's see. Follow the man, search the SUV. Search the SUV. The SUV is well stocked, screams. You know what? Fuck the man, fuck his wife, and fuck his kid. I don't give a shit. We're looting an SUV. We're getting the fuck out of here. Every man for himself. I'm sorry. Zombie apocalypse. I ain't a fucking saint. You discover one of your gas tanks is filled with water. Oh, that troll. He trolled us with the fuel with water. Trying to make us ruin our car. It's that scum. See? That's what happened. Well, I guess it's kind of a two-way street. <coughs> Excuse me. You're out of the water. And you can't find any nearby... Well, you, you're out of water, and you can't find any nearby. Everyone's dehydrated. There's a farmland right here, fucking pussies. A grizzled stranger beckons you to a dark corner and offers to teach you some useful techniques for eighty dollars. Money scare. Find more money than anything else while scavenging. Shit. Like I might just do that. Pay for my car. I got plenty of scraps. Can repair my shit. Watch it fail. I have that happen to me plenty of times. It's really fucking annoying. Well, you know, what, what can you do? Sweet. I should be good for now. Already rest up for a bit. Four hours of sleep. No, if it is really a zombie apocalypse, the only thing that really matters to me are friends and immediate family. Some cousin. Some others I don't really give a shit about. <laughs> but, it, you know, it's whatever. I guess we all have that. Or probably not. I'm not sure if I'm the only one. I'm pretty sure I'm not. Fucking. God damn it, I am not going out on a deadly night. 
Let's rest for an hour and see what happens. I fuck fuck you you I don't even want to do that. My keys are all bad. The SG is like all sticky. Stop doing that. Put my keyboard. It's all over it. Badass, you had to put a quarter in, and we just broke it to just a quarter slide in and slide out and play it forever. Oh man, this shit was fucking awesome. And there's like one of those old things that you find in the bar. The good old days. Nathan has a broken arm. Good job, Nathan. Genius. Fucking genius, dude. It starts raining heavily, and you have to drive more slowly. Can a zombie activity go down, please? I would like to fucking go scavenge some shit. You get caught in a blizzard, the cold will tax your health in half. I have to jump more cautiously. Jesus Christ. Let's just get to the landmark. Heavy rubble has rendered your car stuck. Guys, this guy clears up. God damn, we went from like all kinds of shit. Your battery dries. Well, your battery dies. You place a supplies. Chicago. Look anywhere to continue. Oh, it's at the auto shop. Oh, bread. Snow tires. Oh. Oh, yes. I'm gonna stay away from that shit. Fuck it. We gotta do what we gotta do. Oh, there's no boss fights, because I'll get raped. If the scavenger's like what? 26 bullets off that guy? Not even 16. Ah, oh, tree! Why do you do this? Why do you do this, tree? Okay. Ah, oh, sweet. Fifty bucks. Fifty dollar. I can buy those. Upgrade. Auto shot. Yes. Buy. Yes. Now I need to save some more money and buy some batteries and stuff. Maybe some, I'm gonna farm. And you guys are gonna have to watch me farm. You don't have a choice. I won't do it for very long. I'm just gonna get out of here. Do this like a couple more times. Scrap does. Some thirty. Let's buy some med kits. Let's buy a med kit. Let's buy some fuel. hours. This game is 
really interesting. I'm kind of into it right now, so I'm not talking. And it's the first time I've actually been into this game in a while. I actually really wanted to play it and start playing through it. And I've, I never really stopped at, the, at anything like that before. I'm kind of glad I did. It's actually really cool. I kind of like being a bad guy. It's fun. But being a nice guy is overrated. Because in real life, I'm a nice guy and I don't. Nothing good happens out of it. At least not yet. Oh, stopping. Medium activity. Show. You hear gunfire nearby buildings. I'm not a good time to stop. <laughs> like that, I'd probably get shot and murdered. But, hey. Thank God it ain't Daisy. Alright, let's go scap this person puts. I'm gonna find some random money bags. A uh, random shopping cart. Oh, money bag. Alright, let's see if I can get it. Probably not. Oh! I don't even know how I got it, but I did. Oh, I'm, I got attacked. Son of a bitch. Damn it. My health. Thank God I have med kits. And that's the only reason why I have med kits is only to heal me. Because I'm important. Everyone else can rest and heal, and I can't. So fuck you guys. I need it more than everyone else. Let's go up there and scab some more shit. It's low activity too. Which is awesome. I love low activity. Makes easy pickings. Easy pickings. Look at this. Cylinder. It just looks like a fucking cylinder. Oh, a dollar bill on the floor. Oh, I don't know, was that work? The last two days, I work at a convenience store. Two nights in a row. One night, I find a $20 bill on the floor. The second night, I find a $50 bill on the floor. And no one has came, no one's come back to reclaim it. So, I just took it for myself. Uh, I don't know if it's scumbag of me, but you know, if I would have dropped money in drive work, no one would fucking tell me that I dropped my money. They would fucking keep it. So I'm just doing the same thing as they would. The road is impassable. Find a way around takes an hour. Oh man, look at that food, man. Holy shit. Rolling in the foods. You stop suddenly to avoid hitting a zombie and everyone gets whiplash. Oh damn, whiplash fucks your health up. <laughs> fucking A. A remote shack. Click anywhere to continue. What's this? Cabin in the woods? Oh my god. That movie was so fucking terrible. A sh oh dude. I dude. I am I'm sorry, but I am definitely gonna have to farm for this. I am definitely going to farm for that. Oh, dude, that didn't really sell for a lot here. I'm gonna sell a shitload of food. I never knew that that's scraps or food. I can never really tell. Oh man. It says activity low. But it looks really high to me. Yes, I thought I got attacked, but I didn't. That was fucking close. Alright. Deadly. I think I'm gonna rest for a bit. Let's rest for two hours. Cause I'm, 
Ah, uh, deadly is scary, and usually when I get a boss fight, and I usually get fucking stepped on. And I don't want to get stepped on. Step I like being not flat, you know. Turn my station wagon while I got these scraps. My food's just running low, and people's health goes down when I repair for some stupid fucking reason. Oh yes. Let's see if I can get to the max. Almost to the max, like 98% to the max. Come on. Don't fuck me now. Yeah, you would. You would. But I said something, bitch. Alright. So 30% chance of failure. And I usually get. To me, it's more like fucking 50% chance of failure and 50% success. But, you know. Just work. So, oh yeah, son. Where are we at in the map? Which. Oh, uh, we got a we got a ways to go. Lays, lays potato chips. We got a ways to go. We got what? How many landmark or cities? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of each, so fourteen stops. That should be fun. But I'm not leaving here. Activity is high, but. Shit. I'm just gonna drop zombies. When I say drop zombies, I mean miss them like almost every shot. in this horrid land. Rudy's exhausted. Okay. So. You see a pile of zombies feasting on something. Or someone. Rudy is no longer exhausted. That, that should that scared the exhaustedness out of him. You wait for an auto. Oh. Oh. No one already exhausted. He's been throwing up in the fucking bushes. Jesus, Rudy. The cost of his valuable time. And time is what we have. Oh, we don't have. Let's see, he's going to get bombed. Hey, Thief stole twelve of your dollars? You bastard. Oh, it's better my dollars than anything else. Some food goes bad. Oh, shit. St. Louis. The end is nigh. Or near. Look at that zombie all pixelated brains. Alright. What's that? The auto shop. Let's upgrade. Super less, less likely to for my foot to break. Forty-five dollar. Oh yeah, the perfect time to scavenge. 
And look at that. Big ol' money bag right there. Hell yes. Praise the sun. Praise it. Alright then. What's gonna show up next? Hopefully a medkit. And some bad aim by me. Oh, it's kind of close there. Okay, I need to start saving my ammo. I need to start saving that ammo. Start saving that ammo. I got that money bag, hopefully they have to here. After I buy that upgrade. Because the upgrade is like super important. Oh this dude's this dude got down for 14, 20 volts for 14 bucks. Hell yes. Alright. Let's rest up for a bit. Rest for two hours and head out. And you know what? I think I just might call it a day right here. It's gonna be the end of our part two of our let's play of Oregon Trail Director's Cut. So far so good, I haven't lost anybody. Hopefully next episode will run just as smooth, and hopefully we can like find some more tombstones and more events that are going on within the Oregon Trail. See you next episode. I am out.